Hey guys, welcome back to the Lionscapes channel. Today I'm at the ruins of Castle Common or Castle Stone. I will draw it to show you how to draw with watercolors or watercolor pencils. So let's get to it. One of my most frequently used drawing tools are watercolor pencils. In this video, I'm going to show you how exactly I draw with them. I use watercolor pencils a lot because they are very practical and easy to carry around and because you don't need a whole box of watercolors with you. I mostly use them for fast sketches. When drawing with watercolor pencils, what I do first is draw a rough outline of the main element of the drawing. This one is a big castle ruin. When combining pen and watercolors, I usually use the watercolors for greenery. In this case, I'll draw the trees around the castle ruin to give it a frame. I draw the trees with one color first and create a basic composition that frames the castle and highlights it as a main feature in the drawing. I will later smudge the watercolors with water. Watercolor pencils do smudge well with water, but you cannot spread the color around much on paper. So apply color with the pencils everywhere you want before adding water. Watercolor pencils are also great because you can mix different colors on paper while they're still dry and then later blend them with water. To get more color richness and diversity, I also add some darker green and brown. If you want colors to blend nicely, it's important to add other colors before adding water. Once I like the composition of color on paper, I use a water brush to smudge it. A water brush is a kind of a pen filled with water. You can also use normal brushes, of course. As long as the paper is still a bit wet, there is another thing you can do to give it a kind of softness to the color. I will use another watercolor pencil and draw over the wet area. The hatching gives the drawing a kind of softness. I do this with two different colors. In the end, I finish the drawing by adding some shades and details with the pen. So, whenever you're traveling light and don't have the space for extra watercolors, you can use this technique with watercolor pencils to get interesting results. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, remember to like and subscribe and see you guys next week.